Hi there, my name is Corey Gaddy, application engineer for TPM. For our four minute Friday today, we're gonna to talk about importing shared coordinates between Autodesk Revit and SOA 3D. There are often times where the architect or engineer decides to shift the building footprint or change the building size. In order to implement this change, the other trade would have to import, rotate, and even scale the building. The workflow we're gonna to discuss today will make that process a lot more efficient. Okay, so let's look at the software. Okay, so we're inside of Revit. This is our new footprint. This footprint is larger than our previous footprint. So we'll go ahead and export it to a CAD format. We'll go to File, Export, CAD Format, DWG. And then we will save that. Okay, now the file has been saved to DWG format, so we'll go over to Silver 3D. This is our old footprint, and you can see the size of it. We'll go ahead and insert our new footprint from Revit by typing in insert. We'll find the footprint from Revit. I'll click open. Now it's asking us for our base point. We'll type in zero comma zero comma zero. What you'll notice if we hit zoom extents, is that our footprint is not where it's supposed to be. So this is the typical process where you have to move the building to line up with the actual location now this drawing has a nice north-south vertical location so you don't have to rotate it but typically you would and even scale the footprint so if we look at our building corner we'll see our northern and easting and now if we look back at Revit at the coordinate you'll notice that they are quite different here's your Revit coordinate And here's your Silva 3D coordinate. So now to get these coordinates to be the same, you'll go up to tool space. You'll go to your toolbox. Under subscription extension manager, Autodesk shared reference points, export shared reference points for Autodesk Revit. We'll right click on export shared reference points for Autodesk Revit, and then we'll click on execute. We'll then click on one building corner, then it asks you to select the origin point. Then it asks you to select the Y axis quasi north. So you'll select the next corner of the quasi north Y axis and then this window pops up. We will select our units of feet and then hit OK. I'll indicate the location where I want to save this file and then I'll hit save. Now if you want to fix the location of the building in Revit, I'll go to add-ins, import shared coordinates from XML, now this is a plugin, so you'll want to make sure it's installed. You'll look for Work Sharing Monitor for Autodesk Revit. After I click on Import Shared Coordinates from XML file, it'll ask you to select the origin point to align to. So I'll select this first point. Then it asks me to select the point on Y up direction to align to. So I'll select the second point. After selecting the second point, this window pops up allowing me to navigate to the location where I saved my XML file from Silver 3D. So I'll click on that file 
and hit open. It asks, am I sure I want to create the new shared coordinates, my shared reference point? And I'll hit yes. Then it gives me indication that I have successfully set shared coordinates, my shared ref point, and I'll hit OK. From here, I'll have to go up to Manage, Location. Then I'll click on Site. And then here shows up my shared ref point. I'll click on that. I'll click on Make Current. And then OK. And as you'll see, our point is updated. We can now look at Civil 3D to verify that the information is the same. We have 7863 and 2430 in Revit. And then over in Civil 3D, we have 7863 as well as 2430. So they are the same. So now, going forward, if I export a file from Revit, and import it into Civil 3D, it'll come in in the correct location. Hopefully this video was helpful and useful to you. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.